not had a Jimny on the channel for some time. And this one's pretty cheap. There's a couple of different versions of this. There's a standard one and an upgraded one. I don't know what this one is, so we'll have to get out of the box in a minute and have a look. I think it's going to be similar to this one, which was the Zeme, I can't remember how you pronounce it, but this one was app controlled on your phone. It was out quite some time ago and I converted mine. I converted mine to work with like a normal transmitter and stuff rather than via the app. And I think that might be the same body and chassis as this, we'll have to have a look. But at the other end of the scale is FMS, which, well, this one is like a proper scale one, functioning four wheel drive. I think it's got high low gear as well. Steering wheel moves, doors open, back, front, everything. A Little bit more expensive than this though. And this has got Suzuki Jimny written all over it. It does say officially licensed. I couldn't see anything where it said it was, but. Oh, I've got the white pro version. Of course I've got the upgraded one. There's some info there. Look, it's got a smoke machine. <laughs> it looks pretty scale as well. So this one, the doors don't open, so it's different. Get it out, get it out of the box. The instructions. That is your battery box. I don't think you meant to take this off, but I'm gonna. There's all your circuitry in there and your, should be a, I think that's a 600 milliamp hour. Yeah, 600. I think this standard version comes with a 500 milliamp hour. Charged there. USB-C charger and plug it in. I guess that will turn just green or switch off when it's charged. Wheel wrench, some sticky pads, banner, wrench thing, screwdriver, cable ties and Allen keys. Oh, hi Alan. Alan, Alan, Al. There's your spare wheel for the back. Transmitter. Look at all the dip switches on it. I know you can adjust your ESC and potentially your drag brake with that. So we'll have to have a look at that. Maybe your lights. So got a A, B, C and D button there. I don't know what they do. And then trim, maybe dual rate. After I read the instructions for that one, it looks uh, like it's got lots of functions. Oh, that's heavy. That has got some weight to it. That looks, oh. It has got suspension. <laughs> What's going on with that? Well, suspension's a bit, a bit stiff. It might loosen up. It might just be where it's been in the box, but that has certainly got some weight to it. Definitely not the same as that one. It's actually a little bit smaller. That's quite a nice little scale model by the looks of it, for the money anyway. I'm not happy with that suspension. Look at that interior. It's a nice little scale interior there. Watch how well the doors shut as well, look. Feels like they're on a magnet. I don't think they are. Not that you need it, but it has also got like a little uh, stay for your hood. There's all your electronics under there. Wipers, mirrors, front grille, lights, LED lights, bumper, rear bumper with a tow hitch. On the box, look, it shows it with a trailer. The trailer's not included in this, but it shows it with one. That's pretty cool if you could be able to get one as an accessory. Well, I say it's pretty cool. We don't know how this performs yet. It might be, it might be absolute rubbish. I'm done. Tires feel pretty yeah, pretty hard rear opens as well i think that's where your battery slots in there and that i presume is the smoke machine and i haven't got a clue how that comes out i just tried to pull it out and it looks like it's fixed today you meant to get water in there for your smoke we'll have to try and work that out little 50 size motor up there four wheel drive there's your front and rear axles oh open diffs as well by the looks of it hmm that's not a great start so the rear is fixed the front I thought was open, but I think that something's broken there already, or it's not in properly. That is not great because it means this is going to be three wheel drive. Ugh, I'm going to have to take it apart and have a look, but man. Right, this makes absolutely no sense to me at all. So I've taken it apart. So that's the side that is okay. You see it's all flat there and it slots into the diff like that. These, they're plastic diffs with brass bushings, just a little bit of extra info there, but slots in there like that. And then obviously that's what turns. Now, when I took this side out, it's all round and I thought, ah, there's been a manufacturing fault there. They've not shaved off the flat edges, but, but in there, there's like a sleeve. There's like a metal sleeve and it's just round in there. So it's as if it's meant to be like that. That doesn't make any sense. On the title on Banggood, it says four wheel drive, but nowhere in the description does it mention four wheel drive. I can't see anywhere on the box where it says it's four wheel drive. So I don't, <laughs> I don't 
<laughs> no. What? Why? Why would you make it three wheel drive? Oh. <laughs> I'm just going to go with it. We're going to put it back together and just run it three wheel drive. Right, more bad news. I've got the battery in. The smoker, it needs actual smoke fluid, not just water. And I haven't got any. Not that I know how you're going to get it in there because the hole, because the hole is like right up in there and it's tiny. You're going to need like a little pipette or something. Anyway, I've just realised the other feature it's got that I missed. <laughs> Watch this. I'm not sure you're all ready for this. Are you ready? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it's got sound. It's got sound. It's third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear, seventh, eighth. It's like Fast and Furious. It's got infinite gear changes. Also, does a little sneeze when you brake. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> oh my days. And reversing. <laughs> and the most annoying bit, it's got indicators, but listen. Now you can turn the sound down. There we go, right. <laughs> Turn the sound down a little bit. You can switch it all the way off as well, but. So yeah, we got lights, front, so brake, bless you, <laughs> and then reverse. And of course, three wheel drive for some odd reason. Definitely designed as a kid's toy, but <laughs> let's take it out and give it a run anyway. Right, we're definitely not doing any rock crawling with this, but let's fire it up. <laughs> let's go for a drive. Oh, well, um, <laughs> proportional throttle, but not great. Oh, indicators. That is full throttle. Fast and furious gear changes. That noise is so annoying. Here's a rock. Uh, okay, well, are we going to get over it? Yeah, it's a rock crawler. Oh, wow. Uh, come on, keep changing gear. Come on, more gears, you need more gears. This is definitely not made for outdoor running. No, I'm done. Right, I've got a couple more things to say about this, but before we do that, let me tell you how you could win that, 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 that and this. Now this one, at the time of doing this video, this hasn't even been released yet, and that's how new it is. So in the description, you will see information on how you could win all this as a bundle, not individually. One person will get all of this. All of them, super scale, FMS, that one's Rock Hobby, Rock Hobby's part of FMS. Licensed Hummer H1, licensed Land Cruiser, the new FCX18, licensed FJ45, and a licensed FJ Cruiser. It's a little bit of a Toyota bundle as well, isn't it? I've got videos on all of this. Depending on when you're watching this video, there will be a video of that out as well, but at the moment, there isn't. Five really good scale RC cars, trucks, stuff unlike this that is quite good scale but it's nothing compared to any of them there they all are lined up now all of them have only ever been used once this one i've not even run yet i am going to run it over my indoor course though i'm even leaving a little bit of dirt on that one for you and i've just noticed the hummer's still got a driver in it we'll keep the driver in there as well so all of them one use only all boxed controllers the only thing i can't do is send them with batteries that one didn't come with a battery anyway them three share the same battery and that one's got a slightly different one so i will sort batteries out but i'll have to order them direct and get them sent to you i can't ship them with batteries in them all in their original boxes i do have the box for that i just need to get it out of storage and to sweeten the deal not only are you going to get all five of them. You're gonna get an FMS Velcro patch and it doesn't stop there, an official 
FMS bag. Now that is definitely the icing on the cake. Think of all the snacks and stuff you can put in there while you're out on your trail. Now I don't want to hear any whinging, you know you should have to pay for a giveaway. It's not a giveaway. You have to buy tickets if you want to win. You can enter for free, but you can only do that once. If you want more than one chance, then you need to buy a ticket. I've tried various ways of giving stuff to people. This is the only way really that I can do this. Unless I just hand them all out to my mates, I'm sure they'd be happy with that, but this is the only way that I can get stuff to you from me without anyone whinging or without me getting in trouble. And I'm saying nothing more about it. As for this thing, well, I think your kids would probably like it with the noises it makes and the lights and if you can get some smoke stuff, the smoke that'll probably come out of there, it's got a scale exhaust there, look. Lights, noise, and it does drive, three wheel drive. Um, it's fine for kids, but if you want something that's gonna perform then, yeah, this isn't the thing. Spend a little bit more, get an FMS, Hobby Plus, FTX, there's loads of other brands out there that do little crawlers that are around the same price or a bit more expensive. That's it for this video. Remember, there's a link in the description for the prize competition for all of that. Check out the review of this as well. It's very good.